Hello everyone and welcome back to Airborne Kingdom, a game about flying cities and the construction thereof. I played it for the first time in the previous episode and people seem to be interested in seeing another episode so I'm going to proceed and so we're going to normal speed there and here is our city so far. According to the prompt at the end of the previous video we're supposed to get to 150 citizens, we only have 13 right now. And we need to un uh, unify, I guess, 12 kingdoms. So that is the goal. We uh, have a job from kingdom number one. They said something, I guess over here is where we need to go. So we have the bars for how many, how much population and how many allies we've got. So we need to go over here. I can't just right click the map to send my self. We have researched fans. I like fans. It's good to have fans. And anyway, uh, so that is a form of lift. Let's get a form of propulsion with propellers. I think that's reasonable. Our propulsion is actually pretty low right now. So we're making Adobe. Which direction are we supposed to go for? I wonder if on the map we can make a waypoint? Well, it's sort of north-ish. I don't think we can make a waypoint, but... This is very north... Northwest. So... Over here. Let's start moving in that direction. We're using all but four of our lift here. We've researched propulsion now. Okay, so we could research the glass smelter, I guess. Make use of that quartz. I wonder how to build to add lift and propulsion. Let's see, a fan. Um, let's see, we lift up here. How do we add this fan? No tilt issues, but it overlaps with other stuff. But I guess we could put a... Fan like this, I suppose? Let's see. Let's see how that works. Well, let me see about a propeller. We need to find better mounting points, I feel. It needs to be connected to paths. Okay, let's build some paths first. Glass smelter researched, okay. Well, let's get some better efficiency. Increase maximum possible speed, I guess that'll be good. I don't need more planes just yet. If they use less water and food, that'd be good, but let's go with speed first. I want my city to be the fastest flying city ever. Propeller. It wants to go up there. I mean, it said it wanted paths, but then it goes in places that... Is it a forward? I think, I guess it wants to be a forward propeller. Instead of something that pushes us. It's not a pusher propeller, it's a puller propeller. Hmm. So it wants to be there. I guess for now it's okay. How can all of our workers be busy? We should have plenty of planes. I don't know what the other planes are doing. Okay, let's assign some workers there. Maybe it's because all the other workers are building stuff. So, we can go 81% of our fastest speed. We are using 38 of 60 lift. It's not bad. Ancient well. What may have been confused for a well is in fact the water pump we seek. I guess that's to fulfill the mission. Uh, mechanisms long ago withered. With brief study, our workers believe they can fix it with some resources. We must find the resources and send the workers. So we need 20 tree and 10 adobe. I think uh, the fan and the propeller actually have occupied our workers. 
music's pretty good. I mean, they've got the general theme of the location nailed. That's for sure. Town center upgraded. We have increased our max speed. Okay. We can increase coal storage by 100%. I think that might be good. Regain more resources when moving or destroying buildings. Um, let's reduce food usage, seeing that that's pretty low. And then we'll move on from there. Alright. Mandated diets for everyone. Make like it's post-Christmas <laughs> and you've got a New Year's resolution, folks. Okay, do it. Two hours only. Oh, repairs have started. Okay, the water pump works. We see red oasis oases turn clear. And we can return to Agromaz. Okay, but first let's take advantage of some resources here. Coal de deposits and is there food? The thicket somewhere? Well, let's try and make our way to Agromaz. So that is southeast. And I guess while we're moving we can't really expect the planes to do stuff. Housing block upgraded. At least these don't require other resources. That simplifies things. Okay, less water use then. Just park myself over here so I can reach the resources. Hopefully we can communicate with Agrimaz here. No, no, back there. Okay, anyway. All right, the queen's smile beams to greet us. Her farms nourish once more, including new wild growths that spring nearby, which we can harvest for food. A few from Agrimaz are so impressed that they wish to join our council. With the farms renewed, the queen is convinced of our prophecy. She agrees to an allegiance, okay, not an alliance, allegiance. We m must build a skyport to connect Agromaz to the wider world. Okay, so we need 20 forests and 10 adobe. So, uh, surrounded by lush fields. Well, let's ally with kingdom. We should do that. Oh, I guess that's done. Treasures. Mm, we don't have enough relics to buy those things. Barter resources. Okay, yeah, we, we don't need that yet. We be, might be tight on food soon if we don't get some, but we're trying to get some, so... Let me just go to normal speed. Maybe... a little bit faster. So, we need to build a skyport, and we need people. We've got three new inhabitants, though, because they wanted to join our council, so we can build some more housing units. I built some roadways, so uh, I'm out of. Oh, that's quite a. Oh, okay. Hopefully, yeah. Let's not tilt that way. Um, yeah, we need some more wood if we want to build more stuff. We need one more housing unit, so we need more wood. Okay, are we good on food yet? Not really. Um, we've got more idle people though, so let's. Start getting water, and there's some forest there, but that's too far. Well, we can move there temporarily. Okay, we can build another housing block. I thought the housing blocks were supposed to contain two now. I had an upgrade. Can't we make a double floor housing? Oh, maybe. Oh, we built we build it on top directly like this. Well, that's a good thing. Let's do that.
So we still have to use the... It's not an upgrade to the existing ones. We still have to use the resources to do that. Alright, we don't need more food right now. Let's top off on water. Um, we need coal, desperately. Uh-oh. We're getting pretty heavy. Um, coal deposit. Okay, we got less water per household. I need to increase coal storage. If we're gonna get heavier, we're gonna be needing the ability to store more coal, clearly. We can build the glass manufacturer. I don't know what that does for us, glass smelter. But at least he'll use the quartz that we've piled up. We've got 13 quartz. It's not that much. Time to find some clay. Well, let's go to that unknown settlement. Small settlements. Well, let's recruit some. Uh, Bramard Vice. Vices? Vices? Vices. Okay. Daludan. And Umno Cham. Sure. I mean. Okay. So we've got some extras. We should get some more wood. Let's get a lot more wood. And let's build more second stories on our existing housing blocks. Let's see, that's pretty flat. Um, we could do with more weight up front, it looks like. And we could get the glass smelter. Yeah, yeah, we could. It'll take three people to be in charge of it. And the inhabitants don't like to be near it, though. Hmm. I'll hold off on that. Okay. We still don't have the clay. We need clay. It's only two clay there. Clay's gonna be a serious resource issue. But two clay will do the trick for now. Oh, there's more clay over there. We can only do 67% of our top speed now. I wonder what our top speed actually is. <laughs> Speed actually probably isn't a problem. To be I, I don't know. Maybe there's going to be a situation where speed is going to be an issue. But I doubt it. Okay, we've increased our coal storage. That's good. Increased resource gather rate. I would like that. I think that's more important than more planes. I mean, if you can gather by 50% more, you need fewer planes anyway, so... Let's do that instead. Okay, city. We're building you a skyport. We need to find some relics, though. Get some coal. Can't reach. I need better range on my planes. That's what I want. It's fancy how the floating constructed skyport banner turns based on where I am. Okay, we've completed a new skyport, and that makes our alliance official, it looks like. So we need the skyport to happen. So we got a little Fields of Agromaz icon. We are now allied with them. And fireworks. They offer to supply us with one wood every hour. Okay. Now the locals tell us one last forgotten myth of the ancients and their knowledge. For the a legends say the airborne kingdom housed three distinct wonders atop its flying platform. Each wonder shone with splendor and imbued great knowledge and ability to its builders. I like wonders. Well, in civilization I like wonders, but well, we'll see. They might be more trouble than there were for all I know. Yet, when that great capital disappeared, these wonders were lost as well. The tales say they were scattered to the winds and their pieces lay among the lands. Okay, so we have to find these pieces of wonders. 
Okay. We don't have relics to buy more blueprints. Let's just make sure we stock up on uh, coal and everything. We're getting some coal. We've got four more people now. And I guess we need more housing units. I feel like a uh, fan in the back would be good. For balance. Uh, yeah, we have the material. Let's see, that other fan is a little bit to the right, so if we put a fan here, that's not too bad. Uh, it seems to irritate that house, those houses, so... Maybe we shouldn't, just yet. We don't need it anyway. I just hate having the whole place tilt like that. I'm gonna make extra housing blocks. Or maybe I can't build that high. No, I don't want on top of it. Uh, I guess it's not gonna like. I probably shouldn't have built one there. It's not gonna like the situation. Um. Let me move that. Water storage almost full. Well, then don't get any more water. Okay. Glass smelter. Okay, we're gonna have a glass smelter. It's gonna be very forward. But then, I wanted to tilt down a little bit anyway. Okay, we should get some food. Where it is? Where are the thickets again? And where should we go to next? The Tapestry Ruin I don't know much about. But I think we should just go north. This... Wow, this stuff here. I didn't even know what... What was going on there. But I guess we should go over there. That makes sense. Find the Lone Trees to rebuild the Tranquil Garden. Oh, we get to build the Great Library. That one I know. Uh, Nomad's Orrery. Okay. Those are things we need to find. So we're making glass. I don't know what it's for, but we're making it. Water tower and food silos might be good. Um, I trust it's not a problem for people to live near a food silo, uh, yeah, food silo or water tower. Okay, hangar upgraded. Resource gather rate is higher. Um, I don't need to... I don't know what efficiency means. Does that mean they'll use less resources to make more stuff or not? See, I don't know. Increasing storage, I think that, that would be good at this point. We are gonna be hitting those limits, it looks like. So we'll do that first. Okay, I was going to put a water tower. Speaking of increasing storage. Because in that location we can't put a house anyway, because they don't like the glass smelter or the adobe kiln. So we are... We're only here. We're nowhere near there. But we've got all these rocks in front of us. Okay. Let's hope that these have some... Resources. There's some water. We need coal as another priority. There's coal. And we can send a worker to the Relic Ruin. So that we can get more blueprints eventually. Okay, where else upgraded? That benefit wasn't as much as I wanted, but... Lift. Increase lift by 25%. Okay. 
No, there is another place there. Unknown Kingdom. So, they'll be wanting a favor. There's another small settlement here. Okay, we've got some more people who want to join. Juvo Halad. Alright, sure. Why not? We've got an extra room already. Uh, Najit Dan. Okay. Yuva Juv, Juva, I'm gonna pass on for now. We can add another flat. Oh, we are now known as the Airborne Community because we reached 25, I suppose. Okay. How can we survive in the skies forever? Traditional believers in the light. The people are worried that they have lost its guidance, both physically and spiritually. They need their desires fulfilled. Well, okay. Different sort of uh, belief system, desires were not supposed to be helpful to the light, but okay. Uh, we must shine light on all our paths to make our people feel safe when walking in the sky. Walking in the skies, floating in the skies. Or we can build centers of faith. I think I'll just put the lights up. Thank you. Just putting lights seem good. We know neither construction at the start of our journey, but surely other kingdoms may have ideas. Okay, probably that kingdom right there, right? Right? I think. Maybe. We are leaning a little bit too far this way. I think I'll put a second story on this side right here. One degree back, one degree left. Not bad. Okay, so, well, no need to just keep floating. Let's go over to that kingdom. Kingdom number two. Melia Passage. Melia Passage. No, uh, Mel... I think, yep. Okay. What do you want, <laughs> Melia Passage? It is a small kingdom, but efficient. Their people value machinery to work the land. Our attempts to ally are met with blank stares. They find our technology entertaining, but ultimately think it's useless. To be honest, they're probably right. But anyway, we must prove our worth with quests. Let's check their blueprints, though. If they're technologically advanced, surely they must know about lights. Um, street lamp. Oh, we'll need five. Five relic thingamajigs for street lamps. We can get an ore. A vertical rotor we can't get. Minaret is for faith. I'm not a faithy type. Melian wind spinners are key to the kingdom's efficiency, but one of the three no longer functions. We learned that there used to be many in these plains in the days of the ancients. The music has gotten real forceful, uh, but they have been lost. If we could find one more working wind spinner and return it to Melia, surely they will see the value in our co cooperation. Okay. Um, any hints about where we need to go? That was the old place, I think. And then there's this green place, which still makes me wonder. I don't know if there's any... Oh, I guess it's down here. Everything is down here? You sure? When I clicked on it, it said... When I click on this, it doesn't bring me anywhere. Okay. So, south. Satisfied. They're no longer jubilant, though. Next kingdom title at 24 more workers. Hmm, we need them more jubilant. Fan upgraded? Okay, open research tree. Well then, let's upgrade the propulsion. Decrease coal usage. Oh, okay, let's do that. Anybody see a broken wind spinner? Or a wind spinner in general? Well, let's see, anything else I can build? Got enough lift. Propulsion we could do more of. And that's just forward propulsion, so okay, fine. Um, well, we might need to make a path there. 
Ah, uh, shoot. Potentially some bad planning. Let's see, path. Let me move this propeller. So I can continue the path. We're probably going to do a lot of reconstruction, I get the feeling. I guess that's alright for now. Okay. Um, but I don't know. What, let's see. Ancient Well is right there, yeah. I don't suppose you got a spinner at the Ancient Well? Oh, there's a Relic Ruin here. Alright, let's do that. Three relics I got from there. That's good. Unknown ruin. Well, that's promising. Settlers of the Gale. Oh, okay. Gale. Obviously, wind spinners. We asked of the wind spinner. The settlers gasp. Their settlement originates from a band of Melian explorers lost in the wastes and unable to return home. We are told conditions in the settlement have worsened, their wind spinner's tilting connection has broken and no longer turns. They think the spinner's parts can be used to fix the one in Melia. They agree to bring the components to Melia if only we return with the settlers who wish to go back with us. Okay. Um... I don't know how many are popping in. Propeller upgrade. Good. And... We can decrease coal usage on the fan as well. Well, let's get some more relics. Before we get back to Melia Passage, we can trade them, after all. Another small settlement. I don't think we need anybody right now. We've got ten idle people. Probably not good to have too many idle people. Okay, on to Melia. Um, let's get some food from that thicket while we're negotiating. Okay, we return with the parts. On our journey back, some of the settlers have been convinced of the Airborne Kingdom prophecy and a few wish to join us. Uh, we journey together to the top of the wind spinner. Our new members agree that they should repair it themselves for they know it's working. However, they need materials and time. Well, it looks like we have the... Oh, we've got... Uh, they wanted a glass and we have the glass. Good. Let's just get it done. Okay, we must wait nearby for completion, but we can get our... Our all important street lamps. Low cost, no fuel. One worker, low speed. It's literally a guy pushing an ore. Food is fuel, too, you know. <laughs> I think propulsion of both the vertical type and the horizontal type are the most important things. I've, uh, transforms tree into coal, huh? Well, we don't have enough relics for that yet, anyway. So, we'll get the vertical rotor and the ore first. Okay, now what about street lights? Oh, I guess we have to research it first. Um... Desires, street lamp. Let's do that first. It's quicker. And we do need more homes, yeah. Pretty soon I can't just pile more on. Okay, wind spinner is fixed. Great. Alright. So Melly, many millions are asking us questions, intrigued by possibility if you even join our cause. More? Oh yeah, more. We got 30 now. Okay, so we need to build a Skyport. We've got the stuff for the Skyport, so let's just get that done. Alright, yes. We're gonna wait for it to finish. Okay. 
So we're constructing a skyport there. We've got 30 people. I'm going to upgrade some build some housing blocks so that they can fit. And that'll do the trick right there. Now we need more wood. Okay, we research street lamps. We're going to uh we could do with more storage probably, but Decreased coal usage on the fan was what I wanted. It reset the research, so that's interesting. Worth noting. Okay, so we've got that. We need more wood, so we'll start here. Okay, but otherwise we've got 30 people. They are satisfied. And let us build our first street lamps before dark, huh? No, they're pretty big. Okay, we've uh, got a new ally. We built the Skyport. And so that's what that looks like. Melia Passage. Them of the Wind Spinners. And they offer us another bit of wood. Jeez. At this rate, we won't have to collect wood at all. Can you give us something else? I mean, all right. They're giving us wood. And I was going to build a street lamp. Can I build a street lamp now? Um, that's probably uh, not connected to paths. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, there's there's paths over here, and there's paths over here. I really want the street lamp closer to the center of the place, but... I did not build the place realizing I would need to put these street lamps. How much do the street lamps cost anyway? Only two glass. And we've only got two more glass. That's illuminated. I guess we could put one here. Okay, so we have some illumination. Hopefully that'll make them happier. Oh, now we got 34. When did we get the extra four? Jeez. They just keep coming in. It's like everybody with a plane can just show up. <laughs> okay, which way are we tilting right now? It looks like we could do with more over on this side. Let's see, uh, one degree back, one degree left. So we're a little bit heavy in the back though. But we've got the stinky stuff up front, basically. So the best we can do is put something on the right. And... Well, that didn't help our situation. Oh, did it? No, not yet. Let's put a top bit to that one. Okay. Well, now everybody should have homes. And I probably accident. Yeah, we accidentally depleted the forest. Okay, we've got food, we've got water, we've got lift, but it's getting close. We need coal, but uh, for now, I'm going to pause. And we'll pick this up later. We've got 34 residents, we've expanded mightily. We've got all sorts of stuff going on. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.